Okay, now we're going to begin to talk about cognate roots. And cognate roots are roots that are related to each other by rules, linguistic rules, of sound shift. This is a very common phenomenon that we study in linguistics. For example, over the course of time, a letter which is a sibilant, an S, might move to a Z, Z, a Z sound, or it might move to a Z sound, or a Ch sound. So some of the cognate roots of Pasach, we're going to see that Samach shift to Pasha or Petza, Patsach, and Patsa. We're also looking at the sound shifts of the guttural, which is the third letter of the root. So first we're going to look at this root, Pasha, which means to take a step and also by extension to overstep, to overstep your boundaries, to rebel, or to transgress. It's frequently translated as transgress. Psalms 51.15, Then I will teach transgressors, poshim, pesha, thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. The root patsa means to wound, and especially to wound by tearing. Proverbs 27, 6. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Patzach, which means to break or to break forth or to cause to open. And so if something's being torn, it's torn so something else can come out to break forth. Isaiah 14, 7. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Isaiah 55:12 For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Another root, patsa, to open the mouth or to separate or snatch away or set free through an opening. Genesis 4:11 And now art thou cursed from the earth which hath opened her mouth to receive thy bro brother's blood from thy hand. In Numbers 16.30, in the rebellion of Korach, we see, But if Yahweh make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them, and they shall go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked Yahweh. So now we want to examine what does Passover mean in the spiritual life of a believer beyond being the historical event that happened we know that it's relevant to us in our lives. Passover represents the initial salvation experience. We come out of bondage to sin as the Israelites came out of the bondage of Egypt. Who is going to make this journey? out of sin into freedom. Isaiah 35, 5 Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. 35, 6 Then the lame man leap as a heart, and the tongue of the dumb will sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out as streams in the desert. We see that the lame, the pasach, or piseach in the adjective, are the ones who will come out of bondage. Again Jeremiah 31 8 Behold I will gather them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth and with them the blind and the lame the Piseach the Pasach the woman and the child and her that travaileth with child together a great company shall return thither. In Matthew 11 5 the blind receive their sight the lame walk the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf shall hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. How will this be accomplished? Second Corinthians 5.21 tells us, For he hath made him, that is Yeshua, to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be the righteousness of God in him. In other words, Yeshua took our sin so that we could have his righteousness. We could come out of the bondage to sin. Yahweh passed over, he pasach, that's a verb, 
for the sake of the Pisaeach. It's the same root. John 19.34 But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. Yeshua's flesh was torn, blood and water burst forth. Isaiah 53.5 But he was wounded for our transgressions, our pesha. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and his stripes. By his stripes we are healed. In other words, we are the transgressors, but he has taken that upon himself. Isaiah 53.12 Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered among the transgressors. He became Pesha just like we are, and he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. When will this happen? The Israelites could not free themselves from bondage. They had no options when they stood on the shores of the Sea of Reeds, or as it's called, the Red Sea. They were forced to rely on the salvation of Yeshua, the salvation of Yahweh. Exodus 15.2 Yahweh is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation, my Yeshua. In our lives, when we come to the end of ourselves and our own strength, we will turn to Yeshua. Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Messiah, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Messiah lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. All the related cognate concepts are part of the spiritual basis of Passover. And I'm sure there are other ideas that you can bring out from your own studies. In the meantime, Tasim Etainayim Al Hashemayim, keep your eyes on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.